Now to the latest example of gun violence in American schools. A 14-year-old student went on a shooting rampage in Georgia, killing two students and two teachers, wounding several others. Eyewitness News reporter Michelle Fisher here now with the latest on the investigation. Michelle? Well, Mark, what's really frustrating about this situation, the FBI said today this young man had been on their radar for more than a year, but despite the advanced warnings and even previous threats of a school shooting, he was still somehow able to go on this deadly rampage just one month into this new school year. I was scared I was going to die, to be honest. And when I heard hard lockdown, I knew it wasn't a drill. Terrifying firsthand accounts as students recall the frightening moment shots rang out Wednesday morning inside Appalachia High School. Then I hear the gunshots, and then everyone ducks behind the desk, and the teacher is like flipping tables and stuff and barricading the door. I was just scared out of my mind. I was like, what is happening? The gunman opening fire around 930 at the school in Winder, Georgia, about an hour from Atlanta. Parents frantically rushing to the school, some on foot after they got word from their kids. I've walked two, almost two and a half miles to get to the school. This is the, a parent's worst nightmare is to hear about a shooting at their child's school. He said they're shooting, in, they shooting in the school and, and the shooter is right across the hall from me. The gunman identified as Colt Gray, killing two 14-year-old students and two teachers before school resource officers stopped his rampage. He is a 14-year-old student here at the high school. Again, he has been taken into custody. Uh, he, is, he will be charged with murder and he will be tried as an adult. Late today, the FBI's Atlanta division sharing a statement saying that in May of last year, it received several tips about online threats of a school shooting involving Gray. But after interviewing him and his father, there was, quote, no probable cause for an arrest or to take any additional law enforcement action. May evil in all the world know that especially in this place this night, we say no. A somber vigil tonight as community members gathered to mourn the lives lost after our country's latest mass shooting. Now, nine others were also wounded in today's shooting. One teacher and eight students, law enforcement officials in Georgia, say that they are all expected to recover. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.